Oh, bollocks. What kind of gear do I have on me? I'm missing my boots. If he's still there, I'll just be able to kill him with this stuff, but I don't think he will be. Oh, he's still there! Quick, 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 quick. Please don't despawn, please don't despawn, please don't despawn. Right, quick. Uh, he didn't drop anything anyway. Well, can't complain, I suppose. Let's get my stuff. Also, I just realised I'm not on the right spell book to be able to alk anything, so... Yeah, this is going well. So in this clip, I can hear the game, and I can hear my music, so obviously I just couldn't be bothered to pause it and uh, commentate it myself live, but it's not that important. All it is is 79 fletching, just uh, fletching some broad arrows before I go do a slayer task. And this is why I was making broad arrows, because I wanted a bit of a break, so I decided to range my Necreal task. It also means that when a Necreal spawns, I can just safe spot him, and he'll never spawn minions on me, so I don't have to worry about that. And as expected... Nothing special from the superior. Also, something else I noticed while editing this back is that that, that superior Necreal spawned on the last kill of the task. That is quite impressive, I've not really seen that before. Okay, I'm not quite sure what was going on in the last couple clips, but for some reason uh, my mic decided it didn't want to work anymore, but basically I, I'll be able to talk over them. But what I didn't notice when I was doing all those clips is with that last superior, that, that pushed me over my tracker hitting 1 million Slayer XP. Alright, so I just did a farm run, and while doing it, it said that I was really close to a Herblor level, so I thought I'd just quickly finish that off. 74 Herblor Antidote Plus Mix. I have a feeling I'm never going to make that. Okay, so I just did the maths, and I have just enough uh, to get into 76. It's 1404, so I think that's actually a fair way into 76. Well, it'll be 70k off 77. Uh, but that's not factoring in the, um, oh, what are they called? Staminas. So I, and since I can just quite easily plus four boost to make staminas, uh, I don't have any pies at the moment, but I can do that quite easily. So I'll be able to make a good amount of stamina. So I think I should be able to get to 77. Uh, if I make everything, so I guess it's time to go and collect a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so I just finished using all of my glory charges, and this got me just enough more my fungus. Well, not just enough, a fair few more, but that's enough more my fungus. What I'm going to do before I make these is I'm going to go see how quick collecting blue dragon scales and wines of Zamorak are. I don't know how many I'll get per hour. But I'm going to do tests, probably 10-15 minutes or so. I was just about to go charge my glories, and then I remembered I have this now. Oh, this is, this is so good. Please don't be someone here. Ah, right, we're all good. Right, go on. Amulet of a terminal glory. You know you want to. Damn it. Okay, so for, first thoughts, I'm not sure why I'm running back. Uh, second for, thoughts, I, I, didn't, I haven't got anything in my looting bag. Uh, because I didn't realize they attacked you now. Yeah, so I don't know how much food to take, uh, but what time is it? It's, uh, it took about 6 minutes to get that one inventory. So that's 12 minutes per 2 inventories, which I, obviously I can put in there. Okay, so my first completed inventory... Uh, what time is it? 30, it's exactly 1 o'clock, so that took 13 minutes. That was, that was some quick maths right there. So 13 minutes to collect... Uh, 28, 26, whatever those put together is, it's like 50 something, 54. But let's say 15 minutes for every 50, because banking time and stuff and easy maths. That'll take me an I'll get what, oh, hang on, 200 an hour. Three hours. Oh, I really don't want to do that. <clears throat> right, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go get another inventory and then as a quick break, I'm going to go see how quickly I can collect dragon scales. Uh, oh, actually, hang on, I could go collect these in the wilderness, but then I'd probably get killed. Not gonna do that. Okay, so I just gave, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, well, I'm gonna make this clip really quick. I just tried out these, and in just short of 10 minutes, like, it is 13.34 right now, so, uh, 9 minutes, I got the, this many. So, you can get, like, 600, uh, let's say 650 of these per hour. And this should be 75 Herblor. I decided just to make a few potions instead of collecting some more resources right now. Okay, so I just got a Herblor level and completely forgot to, like, acknowledge it. 
I just kind of skipped straight through it and went back to doing what I was doing. But yeah, that is 76 herb lore. Okay, so after looking into it, um, if I make all of my anti-fire potions, I will then need to use about 1500 um, amylase crystals to get to 77. Yeah, so if I buy 10, that's 100. Alright, and this gets me a thousand, yeah? Okay, yeah, right, we're good, we're good. Uh, so I only need to buy five more. So I just hit 71 smithing while making myself some cannonballs. So, I was looking at this, and apparently I completed the Lumbridge hards and never actually went and collected it. So I'm fairly sure that's 15k herb XP. I think it's 15k you get for hards. It might just be 10k. Well, either way, I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm, and then with the Varrock one, all I need for the hard diary is 153 kudos. And my plan initially was just to get it passively through this, but I've decided when, since the quest guide is like 20 minutes long, I'm just gonna go do Curse of the Empty Lord. Okay, I completed the quest. It didn't take very long at all. I've got, uh. Uh, I just realized I bought my staves already, damn it. But yeah, when I was uh, collecting, when I was telling the guy in the museum about the ghostly robes, I got another lamp. I think this is the achievement diary one, so how much do I actually get for the achievement diary? Ooh, 15k, nice. And then how much do I get for this one? 10k? Well, that's pretty cool. For like a, for like a 15 minute quest, 10k herb XP, I'm not going to complain. But I'm also 6k XP away, so I'm fairly sure that I, uh, from collecting the lamp from the guy in Lumbridge, I'll actually get uh, 77 Herblore, which will be pretty cool. And here is completing the Lumbridge Diary, okay, uh, and this lamp, 15k, boom, 77 Herblore. I can make stamina potions without having to boost now, so hell yeah. Uh, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that I'll need the ghostly robes at some point. I cannot think of why I actually need them, but I don't want to get rid of them, so uh, I'm building this so that I can put them in there. Oh, wait, hang on. Do I have to open it first? Alright, yeah, there we go. So now they don't take up any inventory space or any bank space, but I still have access to them. So this is fairly well known, I think, but if you get um, one dose super energies and use amylase crystals on them, then you get... Uh, the Amulet of Chemistry has a chance of giving you uh, a two dose, which means... Well, basically you get more stamina potions. It, it gives you more bang for your buck with uh, amylase crystals. Uh, obviously it is slower, but uh, in when when you want more stamina potions, this comes in handy. See, there we go, I went to a 2-dose stamina potion there. Um, whereas, you know what, I'll do the maths and I'll show you on screen. Alright, I figured it out. Basically, when you're making 1-dose stamina potions, Every 20 amylase crystals, you get an extra dose. Whereas if you make three doses, uh, stamina potions, uh, you get an extra dose every 20, uh, every 60 amylase crystals. So it's it's three times better, maybe. You, you, it doesn't matter. You get what I mean. Okay, I forgot about miscellanea, and uh, it's been a long time since I've been here. I think I was on 84%, and there was about 300k left in here. Uh, I just ch changed it over to being teaks because Noob said so. Uh, I'm going to collect and see how much we have. That is a good amount of teak logs. Not very many birdhouses. Any good seeds? No, they're all bad. Okay, so I haven't spent my points in quite a while. They've just kind of been collecting up. And I don't really know what I'm going to spend them on. I'm going to be lazy. And uh, I'm going to get myself Shroom Sparrow. 110 points, It's uh, it just makes it slightly nicer to do, pardon me, to do these Zygomite tasks. So, jeez, I don't know what happened there. So I have a medium casket here, and it's not that I've not been recording these, this is just genuinely the first medium casket I've done in a very long time. 
Ah, uh, that is awful. Look at that. And a hard casket. Uh, uh. So, I got a blue dragon task, and Nibber gave me the idea to try out Vorkath. I, I haven't done this boss in a while, and I have no way of um, reducing its stats. So, I don't know how this is going to go. I also can't remember what kind of stuff I need. Um, so, this 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 may not go very well, but you know what? I'll I'll I give it my best shot, and that's what matters. Also, hang on, my house isn't even in Relica, so I don't know how I'm gonna get there. But well, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna give Volkath a shot. Okay, so oh yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I. I had to tell you out because uh, Venom really hits you hard, um, and one anti-poison was not enough. I'm not sure I can do it. Like, for, I'd, also, does anyone have any reason why going out of a house portal cures you of poison? I I noticed that a bit ago, and I'm not quite sure why. But yeah, I, I'm mm, I don't know if I can do it. Like, I uh, why am I going? What? Hang on, what am I doing? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I can do it. I I don't hit well enough against it, and I used thirty five of these in those two attempts. So even if I could kill him, I would get like what uh, four kills. Oh, I didn't didn't even know acknowledge that. I just got dragon plate legs. Uh, these are the first dragon legs that I actually have on the account. So that's fairly cool. Uh, they are the best non degradable tank legs I have right now. I pretty much always use the Varex skirt or the Obsidian plate legs, though I I don't really know when I'll use these. I guess maybe if I kind of want higher defenses, but don't really want to use the Varex. Yeah, you, you basically. So I got a uh, a long bone earlier in the task, and I didn't think much of it, but I just got a long bone and a nature talisman in the same kill. Oh boy, I love this so much. Ah, uh, it's been. I have. I had one. I didn't have a task until I got to 84 uh, Slayer, and I'm fairly sure dur just during 84 I've had two. Uh, keep them coming Steve, keep them coming. I want that Leaf Blade of Battle Axe so I can go try out KQ. I was so hoping I'd get one of these, because this is my favorite looking superior by far. Like, look at it, it looks so cool. Uh, but I, I have not very much food and not very many prayer points, so I'm gonna have to flick this thing. Uh, but yeah, if, if I get something cool, that'll be awesome. Bollocks.